Main Deceptor and Willow Flower Farm. We are a UPIC flower farm, a tiny UPIC flower farm, um, that does also bouquet subscriptions and offers wedding options for brides. I call it, it was kind of a COVID project that went crazy. Um, when COVID hit, all of our all of our kids were all suddenly home, um, and we have five kids, and all of a sudden it's like, here we all are. And then once we realized, oh, this is going to be a while before we're out, we're like, let's grow some flowers, which we always did, um, but we're like, let's make it huge, you know? And so we did, and what was huge to us was like 1,400 plants or something. That was huge to us. And the next year, like, hey, we could do this again. You know, maybe we could do farmer's markets or something. Um, and then it was kind of like, well, we could do that or we could go even bigger and let people come out because that that became a really important part for us as our family. We really enjoyed working together and picking the flowers together and putting them all together. And so we're like, well, let's give it a shot. And so in that, in 2021, we're like, we opened it up and it was kind of like, what if nobody comes? <laughs> but they did and they kept coming. And so we're like, okay. And then it kind of just went from there. Yeah. Well. It's been, it's interesting to see everybody's preference in flowers, and that's one of the great parts of having a U-Pick is you really get to see everybody's different preferences. So, and one of the benefits we have in doing that is we get to grow a little bit of everything. We get to grow like all the different colors and um, different types and different bloom types. And um, so for us, that is helpful just because different people, there's usually something for everybody somewhere in the garden. And so for us, that's, that's a fun part of that. Um, if nothing else, especially in your first beginning, it's helpful just that people know you exist um, because you kind of just pop up out of nowhere. Um, so just kind of letting people know that you're around. It also, I think about um, people who have like allergies to bee stings and things like that. We have lots of bees in our garden. Um, and so understandably, they're more hesitant to come out and pick their own where, you know, oh, I could pick up a bouquet from, you know, this person or this person from us, you know, that helps us reach more people that way. Um, other people, they don't like to cut their own flowers. They grow flowers, but they, they're nervous about cutting their own, so they can either cut them here or we can deliver bouquets to them and they at least then have them in their house and outside their house. <laughs> well, I mentioned bees. Bees are very happy in our garden and they tend to just happily coexist with us. Like when we're working, they don't seem to bother us. We do use a lot of compost as well. Um, we try and source that as locally as possible to kind of just keep everything growing as naturally as we can. Um, and those I think were prior to main big ones. Yeah, so, I mean, UPIC requires community involvement, and but which is great just because, one, we get to meet so many new people that are local here, and but also just it allows them the chance, um, if not everybody has a place where they can grow flowers, and so it allows them a chance to get out and play with flowers, and it's always fun. We had a little boy out here one season where he was so pumped about the butterflies. They were everywhere, and he was just running around chasing the butterflies, and so it, it's fun to see kind of people experience it in a different way um, that way, and and just the support that we've been given, and it's been encouraging. It's like, hey, we heard about you. Like, is there any chance we could get a bouquet for our da daughter's recital? Or So that's been, it's been kind of fun to just see the support we've been receiving that way as well. As far as the UPIC side of it, there's, I mean, people are cutting, you know, with scissors. That's always a one of those things where, especially if you have children, we love to have kids out here. We just ask parents always be like, just be mindful, like help them cut the flowers, help them so they don't cut themselves. Um, the bees, again, if you're very allergic to bees, things, that's something that we always try to remind people of, like, please be cautious and take that at your own risk as far as that goes. Um, and also we do, you know, cover insurance, you know, for our property and that kind of thing to help mitigate some of those things should they happen. Thankfully, we've had no incidences of any kind, um, but we do want to be as safe as we can.